problems that people have had. Um, for the last 20 years, you've been a solo act, more of a solo, you operate in a band format. Right. But why not uh, have a band, the name of the band, as opposed to performing as a solo act? Um, well, this, you know, traffic was, was three, you know, three, four really strong individuals. Um, it's not an easy thing to re replicate. So that's why. I'm talking about bumps, there used to be still quite a bit of appreciation, or even a renewed appreciation for the stuff you did solo back in the 70s. Is it the feeling you're getting? Um, well, yeah. Um, the state, I mean, you know, in America, there's definitely, um, you know, there's still definitely a strong following from people that were, that were there at that point, you know, and through to the, like, the, like 80, 81 or so. And uh, um, the last time, um, let's see, the last time we came over to Japan was, um, um, was last year. And then before I hadn't been here for a while uh, before that, mm -hmm. but uh, you came last year. but it was yeah we were here last year, um, but uh, it seems that uh, I guess you you got you starting the uh, kind of classic radio format over here too I mean um, not as much in the states no no I know it's not as much yeah. in the states but Tomatsu said there was a little bit of it starting to happen here kind of yeah sort of in, in bits and pieces right, right. Um, but. Uh, but yeah, I'm surprised. It's a nice surprise. It's it's there's still um, people in Japan still remember. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there's um, there wasn't really any um, um, there wasn't a lot of interest from record labels yeah. in the last few years. Oh, even, yeah. You know, with uh, between punk and rap, it's mm -hmm. sort of <laughs> which. Which, for some reason, they call music. I don't know why, but <laughs> <laughs> um, so consequently, it's um, it's sort of got a little overlooked. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. you know, not just myself, a lot yeah. of people. Although I think maybe it might be coming back. Um, you know, the interest. I think there's, you know, they kind of, you know, pop music tends to orientate itself to the to the nine to. 15 year old mentality you know as a business which I understand you know it's it's, it's a business but um, but I think there's still a lot of people that appreciate would like music but th there's no um, there isn't a lot of labels putting it out although you know you've got Winwood coming back there's um, the Doobie Brothers are back out there again um, um, Bonnie Raitt's album for, you know I mean she's been around for years you know so um, I think there's definitely an audience out there for that kind of music. It's just uh, labels need to uh, to discover that audience and maybe aim, you know, for that audience instead of such a teenage audience all the time, you know. Uh, well, the guys, that one thing he points out, though, is that, you know, the fact that you've continued to perform your own music without pandering to, to popular taste or to juvenile taste, right. as well as uh, maybe the other people you're talking about, right. is sort of a testament to the quality of what you're doing or your commitment to it. Right. Yeah. Well, it's it's also, um, you know, that's, it's, um, it would be, uh, I, I don't think it would work for me to try and follow trends. I think, uh, I don't think it would, it would gain me any new audiences, and I think it would probably turn off a lot of my old audience. So, uh, you know, but I, you know, maybe things, you know, cycles come around, and um, I mean, I have a lot of new material and a lot of new stuff. And there's, there's, um, I just started um, going after a record deal again, and there seems to be some interest in the states. Plus, um, I think there's some. Um, uh, people, CBS, Sony, um, uh, maybe a couple of other people coming tomorrow to the shows. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of stuff, uh, what are your activities are in the States? Like what, what type of places do you perform at? Uh, they're mostly all, most of the places we play are mostly clubs. Mm -hmm. um, some are theaters. It depends on, uh, you know, different parts of the country. 
draw a different audience. You know, some uh, uh, I have a much bigger crowd than other parts, and uh, sometimes the time of year makes a difference too. Yeah, um, you know, sometimes. Also, I tour a lot there, so it's maybe a little overexposed in a way. Oh, I see. But um, I think people are sort of used to me going. Well, they know Dave will be around. You know, next year. <laughs> so, uh, but also. Um, uh, I, t I toured for seven or eight years just acoustically, just myself and Jim Krieger. Was that right? Yeah. And I only, um, I only had the band out for the, maybe the last three years over there, three, four years. And I've just gone back to doing it acoustically again over mm -hmm. there with myself and Jim Krieger again. Who wrote, uh, Jim Kr not Krieger. Krieger. Jim Krieger. As opposed to Jim Krieger. Um, it's, well, Krieger, you're thinking of Robbie, Robbie Krieger. Oh yes, yeah. yeah okay. From the Doors. His, his real, yeah, no. His real name is Jim Krieger. Krieger. That's how you pronounce it, Krieger. Yeah. It's not Krieger. No, oh, Krieger. Okay. Uh, it's spelled Krieger, but yeah. it's pronounced Krieger. Oh, I see. Um, but he wrote, "We just disagree," yeah. and he was with me in the. Um, he went, well, he was with me when we came to Japan when we were, you know, when we were like in the seventies, yeah, right. middle seventies. Nice right, exactly. Um, so he and I are back on the road playing again, just doing two. Yeah. yeah. How many club You got together this time. This is your first time playing with them, right? So no, no, they were here um, last year. Oh, is it right? I had a different guitar player mm -hmm. and keyboard player, mm -hmm. and also they were at, they were at for um, the drummer and the bass player have been with me for the last three, three, four years. Oh, three, right. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, I'm still busy, right? Kind of tough time in rehearsals there because they're your first timers. Um, no, no, we're just uh, trying to get everything, um, since we're here and we're not with our own equipment, you know, uh -huh. um, for the most part. We need to, uh, that's why I needed today to, uh, to work all this out. Plus, I haven't played with the band since January, so. Was that right? No, so that you left, that's not the So, uh -huh. this is, we need to refresh ourselves. Oh, on. I see. Not you, got, you dabbled a bit in Caribbean style music or Caribbean style influences? Um... A little bit, yeah, yeah, not very much. Yeah. Just a, just a little bit. Uh, there was some. Let me think. What would uh, maybe there was a couple of things back in the seven uh, on some of the uh, uh, like seventies albums that came out. Um, there's one new song that I've got called "It's Never Too Late." That's that's somewhat that way. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little like that. It may not be the most appropriate way of putting it, but after you left Traffic and you did the first solo record right. alone together, right. um, he referred to the mu the music seemed to take on sort of a swampy type of sound, like a southern, almost sort of an American southern type of sound. Well, that may not be. Wait, what? You mean not alone together? Sort of alone together. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. I don't know. If probably I because I had mostly all the like Jim, you know. Leon Russell and uh, Jim Gordon uh -huh. and um, um, Bonnie Bramlett and people like that singing on there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't really. I don't. I didn't really think of it that way. But, mm -hmm. but uh, uh -huh. I don't know. It's. A, I, I really wasn't thinking of it that way myself. Why did you choose those people then? Well, they were all the uh, session people in L.A. at the time. Oh, right. Yeah. That's the only reason why. Yeah. Why LA? Uh, because that's where I moved to. After. Uh -huh. Why would you move to LA? What brought you there? Uh, because I just wanted to go. Uh, <coughs> there was really no, you know, there was really nothing to. There was after, like after traffic, there really wasn't anything to put together in England. I mean, I tried a couple of things with, uh, you know, I did some stuff with Hendrix and um, did a few things with Derek and when, when Derek and the Dominoes started. I was going to be with that, mm -hmm. uh, but that didn't work out. Mm -hmm. And um, plus, America is where rock and roll started, so yeah. I figure I'll go where it, yeah. the roots are. Plus, uh, I'm session Jimi Hendrix there. You're on the electric Ladyland jacket, he says, is like for you. Yeah. Was that when you were? Like, um, yeah, but so I, well, we did um, all on the Watchtower, and um, I sang on um, uh, Crosstown Traffic. Uh, I was going to actually was going to join the. I was he was no Redding was going to leave at, at that point, and I was going to join on bass. Was it right? But 
Um, it didn't work out. I think the management kind of put a stop to it. So. I thought that you would, I guess, kind of add your name out of the billboard. Well, no, 